So the Pioneer Award is for an individual who has broken ground that has truly shifted um, how successful the exhibition and events industry is. Someone that has been creative, someone that's been adaptable, someone that's fundamentally broken ground to drive their business forward, drive the industry forward and to make a big difference to us all here today. I've known this person for as long as I can remember actually. Um, I've been in the industry for a long time. I think they've probably been in the industry as long if not even longer. So we're talking 25, 30 years. This person thinks differently, they're a disruptor. Uh, you go into uh, meetings with them and they are creative, they just have a, a different view on our industry which has uh, really been expressed through the types of shows that they've developed. Probably 50% of the time they want to absolutely kill us and the other 50% of the time we're best of friends. Uh, the first event at Excel, well the first event full stop was in 2008 and you had over 100,000 visitors. And there were many doubters who didn't think you could do it. But you and the team at Media 10 certainly proved them all wrong and have continued to do so ever since. This person constantly innovates. Um, they've delivered and run some of the biggest and best events in the industry. They're very inspirational, such a laugh, and uh, someone I personally really look up to. I've got quite a lot of good memories from this award winner. They're always a great company. The thing that stands out for me the most is the moment when they went to register their company uh, which is now known as Media 10. Um, the plan at the point of registering the company at Company's House was to call it something else, but they all forgot. Um, but many years later, that trusted name has come to light in the restaurant and bar downstairs, uh, which is called Tom, Dick and Harry. In all the years I've known this person, two pieces of advice stick out to me. The first, if you're gonna go and do something, if you're gonna go into battle, if you're gonna go and achieve something, never take a step backwards, win that fight, win that battle and that's a mantra that has stayed with me and that's something that, that this person you know, says every day, let's do it, if we're going to go knock the opponent out, let's, you know, we're not aggressive but we're going to win and we have won over the years. The winner of this award is possibly the most determined, single-minded but creative person that I've ever met and they're ever likely to meet. I think he knows it, maybe he doesn't. Will drag us over, over the trenches to achieve our absolute maximum. I have the utmost respect and admiration for him. Always looking for the next opportunity. Fun, entertaining. Assertive. Absolutely terrified of him and it hasn't changed. He gets on my bloody nerves. You deserve this more than anyone I know and yeah, enjoy it, but it's not all over yet because we've still got a lot more that we can do. I'm so delighted that you've achieved this award tonight. It's richly deserved and I hope and I know that we will celebrate long into the night tonight and for many days afterwards. So here's to you. God, come on, someone fill my glass up. That was the edited version, I'm serious. Uh, so many people wanted to speak about this man. He's a terrific man. I love him dearly. To present the award, uh, this award is sponsored by Axel. I know a good mate of mine, Millsy. Come on, mate. Well, if you haven't, if you haven't already guessed, it's the one and only Lee Newton. Don't go away. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I knew there was something going on. I've got, I've got to say, I knew there was something going on. Jane that um, has worked with me since she was 16. She's now about 60. Jane, stand up. You've been a fantastic part of what we do here at Media 10. I knew there was something going on only because she was being nice to me all week. And she's not normally, she's normally telling me off. Look, it's all about, this is all feeding back, is this all right? Uh, it's all about the team. It always has been about the team. I know that's, you know, you think I would say it, but it is about the team. And uh, I think one of my two tables to stand up because it's all about you guys, honestly.
my dad and my wife just turned up. If I ever won one of these awards, I hope they would both be here, and they've just turned up, which is fantastic. I nearly cried. My dad used to... <laughs> I think you've got to understand where we come from. We're market traders. We were... You got a bouncer who won an award at an events award. It's amazing. <laughs> my dad used to take us down the market. I'd wake up in the back of a van on, on our way to some East End market and he'd make us work all day and he'd give us a fish sandwich if we were lucky. But he taught us how to work really, really hard and always leave from the front. And I'm always telling my guys, leave from the front. And uh, I can't do it more. So thank, look, guys, thanks ever so much. It's absolutely fantastic. I love you, Jimmy. Tonight is definitely one of the highlights. I think that um, launching Grand Designs um, uh, uh, at XL with Kevin Murphy was absolutely fantastic. And I love Kevin dearly, I hope he's well. Um, you know, buying the Idle Home Show for a pound, and then, and then 15 years later, we're still cracking on with it, bigger and better than ever. Uh, launching, launching many, many shows, optical, uh, design shows, Clarkable Design Week, probably the best show you've ever been to. Um, and, and, and look, putting the team together that have stuck with us for a long, long while, and, uh, and always make things work. Uh, my advice for any event organiser, is um, don't ever buy a restaurant or open a restaurant because they're a bloody pain in the ass. Stick with events, keep on going. I'm still learning day by day. Believe me, I don't think I know it all. I definitely don't know it all. And we're still learning. And um, just get a good team behind you.